5 ways of creating a sliding text animation in DaVinci Resolve. Number 1. Drag your text plus write your text. Go to layout. Create a keyframe. Bring this down. Go maybe a second forward. Then bring these back to the center. Now in this case, if you want to adjust the curves, you have to go into Fusion. Now open the spline tool or if it's already open, just select it. Press F then T and adjust the ease in and out values. We've seen number one. Now the reason for me making this video is to show you that there's many ways of doing the same thing. Let's jump into number two. If you don't want to use the layout right here in the Fusion Text Plus, you can go to settings and use the actual transform settings right here from the edit page. So we can just bring this down as well. Now go one second forward and bring this back to zero. In this case, you can right click right here and ease it in and then ease these out from here. Go to the keyframe section. Now make sure to click right here so that the splines are actually showing up. Now for the parameters, make sure it's only set up to position Y so that we don't have to worry about the others. Now here you can also press Ctrl A and select the points. Select one curve from here to adjust this however you want. And now if we press play, we have this sliding text animation. A quick intermission, if you don't want to create text animations from scratch, make sure to check out the text effects pack that I've just released. All right, let's jump into number three. Now, the third way in which you can add a sliding animation is by going to video transitions and then just search for a slide transition. There's already some presets right here that you can choose from. So let's say we want to slide up, just add this right here to the text plus, and you can see the transition being added right here. Right here, you can adjust the duration. If you want this to be one second, just depending on your timeline, you could use the frames or just the seconds right here. Here, you can also adjust the curvature of the ease in and out. And we have that. Now, that's a little bit weird because we have that repetition, but you can also try using this slide right here. Now, this one is coming from left to right, but we can just go to find the bottom up one. And now we can see it right there without that weird mirroring effect happening to it. You can adjust the motion blur if you want to add a little bit. And then here you have the sliding text animation. The cool thing here is that you can actually just position your text, whatever you want this to be. And then the slide animation will work the same way, no matter where your text is. All right, for number four, open your template in Fusion. And this is if you like to work in Fusion most of the time, and then you can add a transform right here. The process is pretty similar. All you have to do is add a transform, select it, and usually you would work backwards. So you select these on the last frame or where you want these to end, go back to zero, and now bring these down all the way until it disappears. Now we can press play and we can check it out. We have the slide in. Now we can actually adjust the spline curves here, press F, and now you can press T to adjust the ease in and out values right here. This is cool as well because similarly to using the sliding transition, we can adjust the template right here. And then the sliding transition will work in the same way as, as before. Well, now, let me show you the fifth way of doing this. You can actually get rid of the transform one. And then instead of using the layout right here, because we have two different layout controls that we can use right here. We have the transformer here and the layout. So we're going to use these for the position where we want the text to be, and then we can use the transform to animate our text. So we're going to go to frame 30 here, which is one second mark. I'm going to go back now and bring these down here. We can use the spline tool and adjust the ease in and out values. However, we want this to be, and we have the sliding text animation. If it is a little bit too close to the border, just bring these a little bit lower. All right. Now with the layout, we can adjust the layout and we can still have that same animation happening in the same way that it did before. Okay, so I guess this will be a bonus one. So let's call this number six. So you can actually go to the title section. Now, right slide in. Here you can actually go to vertical slide and there's actually two of them. Drag this right here. You can see there it says sample text. Now we can see that weird movement happened right there. But if you write your text right here, just write text. Now let's write slide in. We can make this bigger right here. And let's take a look at these. Right now it's not working because of the way that this was built by the Blackmagic design team. 
because on the text, they actually use the line spacing to create that animation, that movement animation, not the layout itself right here. We have the spacing from the lines. So if you want to use this one, all you have to do is press enter and add a few more lines and then you have the slide in from there. Now, if you wanted this to be a little bit longer, just add a slide in and here you can also adjust the position. Now, this one is actually, now that I'm seeing these, it has a keyframe stretcher, so it actually has an outro animation by default set up there as well. And those are the six different ways of creating a slide in text animation. Now, those are not the only ones. There are actually even more ways of doing this, but you get the point that there are many ways of doing the same thing. Now, before I leave, let me just mention once again that if you don't want to create text animations from scratch, I've actually created a pack of 35 text animations that you can use for your social videos. So if you want to download them, check out the link in the description or go to textfx.swalby.com. See you in the next one. Bye.